Sticking with Red Bull then for our next point, uh, what should Red Bull do about Alex Albon and Pierre Gasly? Now, they've already acted about 12 months ago on this because Gasly was underperforming and Albon was doing a solid job with the Toro Rosso squad. And they'd already given to Fiat his chance. They, they give Albon the chance for the last nine races last year. He did a great job. He did a very, very good job. His gap to Verstappen was pretty similar to Gasly in qualifying. But during the races, he performed much more admirably, uh, getting on top of the car. And it, it worked much better for Red Bull. They, they scored a lot of points in the second half of last season. Now, going back to the fact that the, the RB16 is a tricky car to drive, Verstappen is able to mould his driving style slightly better around it. Albon is still fighting it a bit more. He's really struggling at the moment. He could have won the Austrian Grand Prix, but that was more circumstances and safety cars playing into his hands. And rather cruelly, it was taken away from him uh, through the contact with Hamilton. He didn't finish that race. He might not have gone on to finish the race, even if he'd got past Hamilton. We'll, we'll never know. Um, but Pierre is doing... A really good job this season with the Alpha Tauri squad, which is the same team as Toro Rosso last year, of course. So, put it into perspective Albon struggling with the Red Bull at the moment, qualifies 13th for the Hungarian Grand Prix. Gasly, having missed all of practice one with a, a power unit sensor issue, struggles through qualifying with the same issue, and actually manages to get into Q3. So he starts 10th on the grid. He did a brilliant job, and he, he did an excellent drive in Austria to pick up, um, I think it was 7th place, if I remember correctly. He's got 6 points in the championship, so 7th place would give you 6 points. Uh, obviously, he didn't have such a great showing in Styria with the, the hard compound tyres not quite working out for him. But then Hungary looked a lot better. He qualified well, having struggled with with the power unit issues. Um, unfortunately, he didn't finish because the gearbox gave out and he, he retired in a big cloud of smoke in the pit lane. Um, but then you do, you do then start to ask the question, what are Red Bull going to do? Now, if you look uh, how Red Bull were talking about Gasly last year and how they're talking about Albon this year. Last year with Gasly, they were saying Pierre needs to work a bit harder on himself, look a bit more inward, get on top of the car, needs to do this, needs to do that. Whereas with Albon, they're going, we don't know what you're talking about. Alex is doing a great job. Now, I think the issue arises because they, they've looked at Gasly and while Albon is still struggling, they they can see what Albon is delivering, which is what Gasly wasn't delivering, uh, especially last year. So Gasly would get stuck in the, the, the DRS trains. He'd get stuck behind traffic. He just wouldn't be able to make any headway and get through. Whereas Albon, much more decisive on the brakes, decisive with his overtaking. And we even saw that on Sunday. He was behind Charles Leclerc, spent a few laps there. Looked like oh, he's going to get stuck. He's just not going to be able to quite pass the Ferrari, even though the Ferrari's dragging in a straight line, the straight the main straight with DRS at Hungary just isn't quite long enough for him. Um, and just as I was thinking that, he dives down the inside, gets through, and he gets through on uh, Grosjean a little bit later on, uh, a little bit of a love tap on the front wing, if you could measure. Now, should Red Bull be switching their drivers again? Um, no, is the answer in my opinion. Because Albon, as much as he struggled in qualifying, you could see that he made progress through the race. He ended up coming through to finish fifth. So would Gasly have made that, that progress? Would he have been able to pull off that overtake on Leclerc? Would he have been able to get past Grosjean? Would he have then accelerated through the clear air um, to make his way up to P5? Based on the evidence from last year, no. His best performance was when it was at Sil when we were at Silverstone, and he was challenging with the Ferraris, but he was still a fair bit back from uh, at Max at the time, and he was closer because of the safety cars bunching everybody up. But Albon is doing 
I wouldn't say a great job at the moment because he's struggling so much with the car, but then you have to caveat that with Verstappen's issues. He's not doing a bad enough job to warrant being replaced. And while I think Red Bull can be a little bit too jumpy on changing drivers, generally they've got it right. When they've gone and wielded their axe halfway through the season, they tend to get it right. They're a little bit like Chelsea uh, in the Premier League, hiring, firing managers willy-nilly, and um, it seems to work for them. However, when you look back at the, the forced changes that they've had to make, so when Vettel left and Ricardo leaving allowed Kafiat and Gasly respectively to be promoted, neither of those have worked out. They've both been gone uh, just after a year or within a year. So, you know, it, it's, it's just one of those strange, strange things. But view valve one more time. It's a compressed season. It's a tricky car to work with. I think he'll come good once they sort that car out and get the balance fixed up. And like George Russell said, uh, Albon is being made to look an idiot, and he's not. He's no mug behind the wheel. None of them are. So Albon just needs a few more races. I think once they get on top of that car, uh, you'll see Albon flourish a little bit more. And who knows, he may be back in town for that win. Uh, although it's going to be hard to see anyone stopping Mercedes right now.